Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby. Today is Sunday, June the 11th, and it's the apodosis of the uh, uh, Pentecost, of Pentecost. Yes, Pentecost. And uh, so today we celebrate one of the apostles of the Twelve, and that would be Bartholomew and his troparian holy apostles Bartholomew and Barnabas and treat the merciful God to grant our souls forgiveness of sins. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let me see here. Oh, where are we here? I'm all confused this morning, as usual. But let's say hello to Christina. That's always a good place to go to. Good morning. All right. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, everyone. How are you this morning, Steve? I am feeling somewhat better. Somewhat better. Wonderful. Been popping okay. some uh, uh, antibiotics, and then I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so things seem to be going better, which is good. Amen to that. <clears throat> and how you good. woke up? You said you woke up slow, and everything's been slow this morning. Yes. And I I'm have very... bad news for everyone. Oh. Christina does oh. not have her coffee. I have no. My everything note. is. Has been going backwards for me this morning, but we shall we shall get back on track. I don't gonna, have my coffee. What are you going to do when Amber Trem Amber Tremaine has those two cups of coffee, and she, oh, you won't be able to. Oh well. I I'll just be grumpy. I'll take two sips, one for me and one okay. for you. There we go. So I'll just be... Hebrews this morning, huh? Hebrews this morning, and it's one of my favorite um, parts of Hebrews. Always make it makes us think. So let's go to Hebrews, chapter chapter eleven. We'll start with verse thirty three, going all the way to chapter twelve, to verse two. Let's open our Bibles to page sixteen sixty eight, verse thirty three. Again, they start in the middle of the sentence. So I'll show, I shall start with verse 32. And what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to fly the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead, raised to life again. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. Still others had trials of mockings and scourgings, yes, and of chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, were tempted, were slain with a sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains, in dens and caves of the earth. And all these, having obtained a good testimony through faith, did not receive the promise, God having provided something better for us, that they should not be made perfect apart from us. Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. So beautiful. Good. Our gospel this morning is taken from the gospel according to St. Matthew. We'll jump around a little bit. That will send us all over the place. But 
Let's go to chapter 10 of St. Matthew. Let's start with verse 32. 32. 32. Oh, verse 32, 33, and then verses 38 and 37. Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Verse 37 and 38. He who loves father or mother more than me <clears throat> is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. And let's jump to, ver to chapter 19, verses 27 through 30. Then Peter answered and said to him, See, we have left all and followed you. Therefore, what shall we have? So Jesus said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that in this, in the gen and but surely I say to you that in the regeneration, when the Son of Man sits on the throne of his glory, you who have followed me will also sit on the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. Amen. This is the word of our Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I made a mistake. Oh. Today is actually the synaxis of all saints, the Sunday of yes. all saints, not the apodosis. That was yesterday. I was reading the wrong uh -huh. thing. And, let me see here. You also have our meditation for the day, don't you? Yes, today is a truly long meditation. Actually, oh, Kurt will be happy that you're reading it. Today is one of the real ones. It's a meditation from uh, St. John of Kronstadt. We ought to have the most lively spiritual union with the heavenly inhabitants, with all the saints, apostles, apostles, prophets, martyrs, prelates, venerable and righteous persons, as they are all members of one single body, the Church of Christ, to which we sinners also belong with the living head, of which is the Lord Jesus Christ. This is why we call upon them in prayer, converse with them, thank and praise them. It is urgently necessary for all Christians to be in union with them if they desire to make Christian progress. For the saints are our friends, our guides to salvation, who pray and intercede for us. Amen. Well, here we go. God is the God of the living. Yes, he is. As you, as yes, you is. explaining someone, I remember. And, you know, uh, and, uh, um, our epistle this morning ends at uh, Hebrews chapter, chapter 12, verse 2. But if you go on just a little bit further in Hebrews... It describes mm -hmm. the church, the whole church, Christ and the uh, uh, angels and, uh, of course, the Father and the Holy Spirit and the uh, right. angels and all the saints and, and us. And uh, St. John Kronstadt also mentions, you know, it's important. Did I read the right one? Yes. The head of the church, which is Jesus Christ. This is why we call upon prayer and converse with them. Them being all the saints, apostles, prophets, martyrs, prelates, and all of those. Um, yeah, we're all in one church. You know, even the angels up there and, and all those who have gone on before. Now, Juliet Sabunia has a good question. I thought that we weren't to eat or drink before communion. Good question. We are supposed to fast before uh, receiving the mysteries. And uh, traditionally, we stop eating at midnight and uh, don't eat until uh, after communion. That's one of the purposes, by the way. One of the small purposes 
of that uh, coffee hour we have after liturgies to get us reinvigorated. Mm -hmm. But it's also important that you drink. The, the, holy, the, the body needs liquid, and we don't want to get sick. So, you know, drink water. Uh, here's, here's a good rule of, rule of thumb. Okay, don't eat any solid foods. But, as the doctor would say, clear liquids are okay. Clear liquids. Okay? Right. Oh, there we go. Um, so they say, you know, before you have, a, when you have a fasting blood draw, clear liquids are okay. Okay. Right. So I see Andrew is with us this morning from... Uh, from Poland. Good morning to you. Say hello to Agnes for us. I call her Agnes. I can't pronounce your name. His wife. Ah. Well, let me see who else is with us this morning. Thank you for that uh, observation and question there, Juliet. Barb Anderson. Good morning and blessed All Saints Day. Amen. And Nelly Cartvelli. Happy All Saints Day to all. Joanne Manaski. Good morning. Maria Fenton. Good morning. Debbie Davis Owen. Good morning. Probably see you in church this morning, Deb. And let me see here. Over here, Joyce Marie created me a clean heart, oh God. And renew a right spirit within me. Earl and Vicky down there in Nashville, Tennessee. Amber Tremaine. And she has two cups of coffee there. But you can't join us, can you? No. Oh, I'll just sit here and be grumpy. Okay. Oh, okay. Catherine Houston, good morning. Oh, Jonathan Nichols, by the way, has three cups of coffee. <laughs> okay, twist the knife. <laughs> A little more. And uh, let me see. Juliet, of course, says good morning to everyone. And uh, let me see. Arthur Bethea, good morning all, and have a blessed day. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. He'll be mm -hmm. going to church at that mission uh, parish in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina. That's St. Nicholas Parish. And Violetta, good morning. Have a blessed Sunday. And Andrew is here. And let me see. Uh, Ellie Oni, where is Ellie? Is coffee clear? Yes. And let me see here. Did I miss Ellie Oni? Because Amber said good morning. I don't see Ellie Oni. No. She's not showing up, Arthur. Juliet. Yeah. Okay. Well, what what is Eleone's job? Her ministry. Her ministry he is to remind us that Christ is in our midst. He is and forever shall be. See, I'm not grumpy anymore. Yeah. That's it. Oh, no, Juliet says, is coffee clear? It is clear if you don't put cream in it. Just drink oh. coffee. Okay. So. Okay, so let me see. I think we've said hello to everybody, but black coffee, Debbie says, black coffee. Oh, okay. And Nick Gazillo, oh, let me go back here. Nick Gazillo is here this morning. Good morning, Nick. Good to see you. Good to see you. All righty. So I think we've said hello to everybody. And well, I have a question for Jonathan. What's that? I just. You know, I, I have no idea how I got this fly in my room and is buzzing louder than everything. How did you get rid of them, Jonathan? As I just... Oh, that's easy. Go out, and, go out and get a little garter snake, a little, uh, a little garter snake, and let him loose in the house. And they'll eat the flies. Good. <laughs> All right. With that's that being way. said. Uh-huh. With that being said, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Thee, our God. Glory to Thee, O Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life. Come and abide in us, and cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.
O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities. For thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, <clears throat> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips, that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos. Have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering. Thou wast not wroth with me, slothful and sinful as I am, neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of my understanding and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to him thee in heartfelt confession, and to praise thine all holy name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things, visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God most high and Lord of mercies, whoever work is great and mysterious deeds for us glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who provides us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love toward mankind, thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds, from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God, glorified in all and by all, the eternal Father, with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.
It is truly meet to bless the Otokos, who art ever blessed and all blameless and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim and more glorious, beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption didst bear God the word and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, grant me the peace, to grant me thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. In every hour of this day instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly in the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all is sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its event. Guide thou my will, teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. And now a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Juliet and everyone, uh, make sure you tune in tonight because Juliet brings up a good point here a, about uh, the fasting. So we're going to at least spend a few minutes on fasting this evening on our uh, Gospel Minute Live Sunday night edition, a little bit. Maybe even show a short film. Um, so, or they call them videos today, don't they? It shows my right. age. It shows my age. So, uh, that'll be part of our discussion tonight. A little part of it. So, okay. So, let me see here. Oh, we've all got to go to church. And on our way to church, let us always remember two very important things. And what are they? One is that God loves us, and he really, really does. And we love each other, and we love you. Really, okay. really. And, okay. And there is a comment down here that I can't see. On, hmm? I can't see it. I think, oh, well. I think it's from Earl Winter, but I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, just a minute. Oh, let me see. Yes, we have some more people with us. It's finally responding. And uh, let me see. Gary and Stefania um, are saying good morning to us. Good morning. Have a blessed day to all of you, she, he says. Good morning, Stefania. And uh, Joseph Khalil has a reading from Isaiah chapter 48. I, even I, have spoken. Yes, I have called him. I have brought him, and his way will prosper. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me see here. I think I've missed something. Oh, I think I've... Oh, Earl Winter. His daughter is getting married this afternoon. Oh, Ooh. there's another good topic for tonight. That's, wow, congratulations. Now, you notice that he... Earl's daughter is getting married this afternoon. Yes, in church. In church, hopefully. And now in the custom of the secular world, what day do we get married on? Get married on a Saturday. Oh, that's right. No, I meant in church as in after liturgy with everyone. In, right. And in the, in the Orthodox tradition, we get married at or right after the liturgy. In yes. church with the whole congregation there. Unfortunately, we've sort of moved on from that, unfortunately. But I'm glad to see that uh, Earl and Vicky and, and their daughter uh, but, being married. Oh, good. But you know what? I do have a question about this. What? So I remember when I married, and I married in the church, and we went to schedule, we spoke with the priest, and he gave us, he gave us the day. He what? I didn't choose Saturday. I'm sorry? He gave you Saturday? Yes, that was the priest's choice. He huh. gave us that Saturday. 
So yeah. I, I got married on a Saturday, but yeah, it wasn't my choice. Yeah, and let me see. Uh, in my in my Bible study group uh, that we'll be meeting this morning, um, let me see. The Orthodox people in that group all were married on Sunday. The cradle Orthodox people uh, were married on not not Saturday but Sunday during or after yeah. the liturgy, which is traditional. It's a good tradition. It and, is. Because marriage and baptism, all these sacraments are Should so be. very, very important, not only to the individual, but to the community, to the whole congregation, the whole parish. Okay? So, at any rate, I still don't, I still don't see Alioni. Oh, well. Okay, so we have two topics already. A couple of sacraments that we should be doing mm -hmm. in the church on Sunday, and they're not private affairs. And a little right. bit of fasting. Yeah. Okay, good. They were all lined up for tonight. So, Okay, well, we'll see everybody uh, later this evening. Have a blessed All Saints Day, All Saints uh, Feast, and... Uh, have a beautiful day. It's going to be 83 here today. Oh, nice. Yeah, but a little bit of rain, but that's good because we need the rain. We need the rain. Yes, and we have a lot of rain. We'll have storms today. So. And Vicky says, yes, Lindsay, God bless her, is getting married in the church. I bet you, I wonder if Donna will be there, Vicky's friend. I'll bet you she is. And, oh, yeah. Okay. We pray for Donna. Donna had the shingles. For a long time. Oh, oh, painful. Yes. We were praying for her, Donna. So, alrighty. So tonight, tonight we're going to be praying for uh, Lindsay and her and her brand new husband, and we're going to be celebrating uh, a marriage. Isn't that great? Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. So, okay. So we'll see you later on. May God bless us all in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And remember those two things. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, give thanks unto God.